call I really don't mind at all I got a lot to get up for I get ready and I'm out the door It took a while to feel like this And figure out just what it is That makes my motor go I started up and now I know That fear is holding me down And I can't have that It's do or die I'll tell you why I got so much life So I'm kicking the door down To go get that brand new chance To dance that dance There's nothing as fearless or bolder What I really offer for the fairgrounds is a reason for patrons to come and to make them happy they came. It attracts a lot of press. I'm always getting a lot of newspaper press because it's a very visual show. So it's very photogenic. But the reason why I do what I do is, you know, people nowadays, either they watch a lot of television you have kids that are playing a lot of video games, they're on the internet. It's a very um, dehumanized uh, uh, sort of a, a situation we have. And when you have live entertainment, you're really uh, giving them an experience that's a little more rare today. And the live entertainment and the, the electric two-way communication that you have with an audience really pumps some um, life into the environment, and into the fairgrounds. and it, it, creates more community. The Wade Henry Show, The High Roller, appeals to the whole span of age groups and all demographics as well. Really, it doesn't matter the age. It really appeals to everybody. Well, we feature all kinds of things in the show. It's really a variety act, so there's a variety of things that I do. It's uh, comedy juggling, uh, fire eating. Uh, we do unicycles. I have different sizes of unicycle, from a three foot to a six foot to a 10 foot high unicycle, which is pretty much the tallest unicycle act that's going on in the fair industry today. I do a very unique slack rope walking technique that's uh, different than a tight wire because it actually sinks down when you're walking on it and it kind of shakes and, it, and it, it swings a little bit and it has a very unique effect with an audience and I'm still fairly close to the audience so I can still maintain a two-way communication with the audience and involve them. And it's a whole comedy thing getting onto the rope and once we're on the rope I do tricks with the juggling and walking on the wheel and, and that sort of thing. We also do balancing. And definitely a big part of the show is a lot of audience interaction. Uh, we really get the audience participating and being part of the show with volunteers and getting kids on the stage to do things. That really makes the show much more interactive. If something should go wrong here tonight, if the chainsaw should happen to come flying out to the audience, Remember, catch it by the handle. <laughs> Yeah. 
you're doing really well, just keep your hands on the unicycle and your feet by the tire. I'm a professional. Okay. All right, kids, listen close. This is important. Go to college. What? That's the wrong unicycle. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this till Orlando goes bald. Yeah, definitely. When you're on the grounds and you're doing a live show, you have got to get them interacting. And you can't just let an audience sit there and kind of doze off as if they're watching television. So sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, coaching with an audience to kind of teach them, you know, how to, how, to, how to clap and respond and ooh and ah, get a volunteer on the stage and that sort of thing. A really great show it isn't always so much what the performer can do, but it's also what he can get an audience to do. Love. 